Well, let's continue our train of thought, you know, with advanced manufacturing, advanced materials, and let's talk about uh, plug-and-play prosthetics from the Technical University of Denmark and their spin-off company called Levitate. Um, I want to take you through the story of the founder because I think it really explains the problem and the solution really well. So, I love these topics where we get like founder stories. Like last episode, we had Terry Clear. It's fascinating. Yeah. So right. let's let's tell the story of the founder of Levitate. Um, he's an amputee. He had his leg amputated below the knee, um, and he had found it really really challenging. You know, for years after his after his uh, amputation to find an exercise prosthetic, you know, that he could run with, just spend time outside. And the problem there is that if you're an amputee, the typical prosthetics that you have access to in a reasonable price range are for normal, I would say NARP, non-athletic regular person life. Um, walking, sitting, standing, um, not really going out for a jog or spending time outdoors running or doing anything active or exercising. If you want to exercise with a prosthetic leg, you've got to go all the way to the other end of the spectrum, which is Olympic athletes. So you've got to get a bespoke leg engineered specifically to your body shape and the use case, and it can cost anywhere from eight to sixteen thousand dollars. So I can't imagine, um, you know, the luxury of being able to go for a jog outside being taken away from me, and I need to buy a leg that costs sixteen thousand dollars to get that back. That's what I was going to say. So essentially, unless like you're you're financially well off you're not going to be able to do something as simple as running which i take for granted i know that for a fact yeah for sure so this guy the founder of levitate um he says so this is really expensive it's really over engineered for someone that just wants to do regular life athlete athletic and exercise things I, you know i don't need to go race in the olympics i just want to go for a jog so he went to the Technical University of Denmark found a professor there who's an expert in composite materials, and they teamed up to create an exercise prosthetic that can be directly mounted onto your normal prosthetic sleeve. So you've already been fitted for a prosthetic sleeve by your doctor. This retrofits straight onto there, and basically you can swap out your walking foot for a running one, and it costs about a tenth of the price of these wow. extremely highly engineered exercise prosthetics. So way more affordable, um, you know, works straight out of the box. You, they have these testimonials on their websites of folks that are using this prosthetic leg and they're able to install it themselves without a specialist and go from opening the box to going on a run for the first time in years in under one hour. Did they mention how they were able to bring down the price so much without compromising quality? Like, are, are, are they making a small, medium, and large and then just allowing it to, like you said, be used by whatever prosthetic sleeve you have and that's where the cost is really coming down instead of creating bespoke pieces for every individual client uh i think there are a couple parts to this um, okay. some of them we can easily understand other parts we can't so one of them being it already fits onto a prosthetic sleeve that's been created for you by your doctor that right off the bat removes a lot of the labor and specialist costs associated with creating a prosthetic leg it Makes just sense. retrofits to your prosthetic sleeve and there's also some standardization and mass production, as, as I assume, um, kind of like what you're saying. There's two different, sh two different shapes you can choose. You, there's a number of sizes you can choose based on, based on your height, and they can mass produce these. And because you're not needing to perform at a you know, world-class athletic level of performance, you can kind of compromise a little bit on having an exact fit and go with something that works well and fits well and is also affordable. The last aspect that's making this affordable for them that we don't really know is they say they've developed a proprietary composite blend with this uh, professor from the Technical University of Denmark. So I know that there's probably carbon fiber, there's probably fiberglass involved, and there's something else in this blend that they say is proprietary and it helps them make these legs that are super, super durable. They've tested them through hundreds of marathons. So on their website, they've got this video of them testing this prosthetic legs and they're compressing it in a repeated strain machine over and over again. They said this legs run the equivalent, you know, of over 2,600 miles and it's still going on strong. So, uh, you know, whatever they're doing is working and I'm excited to see this reach people, you know, directly impact people's lives at, with removing this, you know, extreme hurdle of cost for making people or giving people the ability to be active again once they've been amputated. Well, I was going to say, I'm happy you brought up the longevity because now I'm thinking like, let's say you're a, you know, 10 or 13 years old and you're an amputee 
you, you can start off by like uh, getting a smaller version of it and then using it. And maybe, I don't know, you can like sell it on a secondhand marketplace. Maybe they can even create their own marketplace and then you can level up to a, a, a version for like young adults and then so on and so forth throughout yeah, your well, life. They've actually got a model built in for this, which is awesome. Um, you know, I can't imagine having a kid that is growing every year and having to pay $16,000 every single time this kid wants to run because they're growing so fast. Mm -hmm. So um, what they've done at Levitate is they've actually made a subscription model. So you can subscribe to having a leg and you can change out the different geometries and shapes and use cases when you want by just paying the subscription fee and you can ship the leg back and have a new leg shipped to you that fits better or does the right thing for you. So for growing kids, that's great. Also, for folks who want to go from jogging to sprinting, they have two separate types of legs. That One's for sprinting, one's for jogging. If you want to use those interchangeably, you just pay the subscription fee and you basically rent a leg from the Levitate company. That's so smart. And that's such a win-win. Again, like imagine like using a leg for a while and then you need to like change it. Or let's say for a while you were just training to be a sprinter and I just want to use it for jogging. can send it back and then they can reuse it for someone else. That's, that's great. I love that. Yeah, and because it's more universal, it probably reduces a lot of the waste, too. So I'm excited about this technology. As am I.